the bullfighting, well, just look at a bullfight. The, uh, the bullfighter is wearing a brilliant shining garment. He is the solar power and the bull is the moon power. And uh, <coughs> these, these uh, acts of going in over the horns of the bull is, is the point of danger to the coup de grace where you knock the bull out here. Uh, similar rituals appear in relation to serpents. I once saw a marvelous film. I wish I could um, know. Uh, it was way back in the early 40s or late 30s. And what it showed was a Burmese pr uh, priestess in northern Burma who was the priestess of a serpent shrine. And the serpent was a king cobra. This woman had to go up in order to bring rain. She had to enact the sacred marriage with this serpent. And it was enacted by kissing the serpent three times on the nose. Now it's very much like the bullfighter going over the horns of the bull. You sacrifice the bull so that there should be a, a new period. The past must be killed so that there can be future. This is the bull sacrifice. Uh, this is a fantastic thing to see. She, th there was a telescopic camera and you could follow her going up the mountain to this uh, cave and she makes a noise and out comes this cobra. Now, she was a woman, I'd say about so tall, and the cobra comes this high to her. You can see it. And she fixes him just as the bullfighter fixes the bull, then goes over and kisses the nose of this animal and poo, and you could see the venom flying all over the place. She had to calm him down, get him, fix him again, she did three times, then goes like that, he goes back into his cave, you could see it. Uh, this is the bullfight again. I mean, the serpent and the bull, the one who represents the consciousness principle. Uh, marriage and killing are related. Uh, the marriage is the killing of your separateness. Uh, you're becoming one part of a larger unit. You're no longer the, 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 the separate one. In Egypt, Osiris begets his hero son, Horus, when he is dead. And when you have begotten a son, you are now secondary. The son is primary, and you're there as a fostering presence. You are no longer number one. And this is death to your primary existence, do you see? So these two things are linked up very strongly. Marriage and uh, death ceremonies have a lot in common.